Well, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This is a general tarot reading for all cancers for September 2022. I hope you'll enjoy it and let us begin to see what are the most important factors that will impact all cancers in September. The first thing is that the forest temple is all about enlightenment. Enlightenment. Many of you are going to go through soul searching, going through, going deep digging deep inside and wondering why certain things are happening, getting closer to the universe, the divine, and preparing for a new beginning. Something is going to be uh, the cause of taking you to this level. Something might happen that will get you uh, to be very spiritual and very much in connection to the divine. Let's see what else is going to impact you in September. Um, I guess the changes that are going through are going to be the cause. I was wondering what will be the cause to bring you close to the, um, to the universe, to God, to to the supreme power that governs our world to your guiding angels to within you it's the great changes transformations with the dragonfly a lot of transformations are happening perhaps one chapter of your life is coming to an end there is a completion of a chapter and that could be the reason uh, another factor is that there is a new beginning so obviously when something ends something begins and it is that that's bringing forth this um, change some of you are taking action moving to a better place going somewhere that is going to transform and bring forth this change let's see what else the universe wants you to know for september we have the emperors the power of uh, the emperors is very strong this is about abundance this is about um this is about a lot of uh healing is you are going to go through a lot of nurturing and a, a, a lot of loving energy is going to be brought forth into your life i do feel like you are feeling trapped feeling um, restricted not able to go what the way you want not able to do what you want especially in one area of your life it's not going as smooth as you'd like to go there is someone in your life but they're temporary they're not there uh, for always and and deep inside you know that and that doesn't help uh, i see the six of cups here and the six of cups uh, this is your past and i feel like you might be leaving your past behind you and moving forward let's have a look at further um in regard to the this restriction i want to know about the eight of swords the Eight of Swords is about commitment. Okay, so you are taking a stand. You are trying to change things uh, to remove this uh, restriction or this controlling situation. But I feel like it's to do with um, some sort of commitment. Somebody's not ready to commit, perhaps. You are putting your foot down, taking a stand, and you want to uh, or, you know, overcome this problem. You don't want this restriction anymore. You want your freedom, and you want to be sort of... You know, or maybe you're fighting to, for this person or for this situation. Your destiny is going to change without a doubt. We have the um, the wheel of destiny here, the wheel of fortune. This is about your destiny changing, extreme power, abundance, money coming in your life, extreme uh, luck and fortune in many areas of your life play the lotto have a look at your financial reading for lucky lotto numbers and how to play the guidance how to play always play a little five ten dollars every month but as um, as long as you do it very um regular consistency if it's every month or every two months but you do it non-stop until you win this is big money coming your way it's not now it's a bit later on but it shows that there is something there let's have a look at this person who is this person they might have a lot of water energy within them um and i feel like this could be other sometimes yourself there could be something temporary happening and you want more than that this could be um water energy scorpio cancer pisces but let's see what is that uh, this person in your life. What is this all about for all Cancerians? Yes, I see there is a little bit more to go. Um, and this person ends. Money is coming big time. Wealth is coming. What you don't see coming, big money. A lot of money. A lot of change in your finances. You are going to um, boom financially. This is the card of wealth and riches. This is, again, the card that I say, play the lotto, don't stop, because big money is coming to you. Now, what shows about this person? Um, I feel like there is a little bit more to go, and then you end the chapter with someone that is temporary, and it's a situation where there is a situation that's temporary. It's not something that you can build on. Deep inside, your higher self is always trying to tell you, move yourself away from the situation. You need something more permanent you need something more you know you need to commit to permanency um, and that's what's coming you're taking a stand and moving forward because you want something permanent and i feel like uh, there's one more step one more challenge you will overcome it and you will reach um to the end of the saga the end of this matter the changes that are taking place are exceptionally amazing let's have a look at some of the changes that are taking place and see what they're all about 
for all Cancerians for September. Yes, you are going. You're going somewhere. And as soon as you go to this place, wherever you're going, there is going to be something coming to an end, something that no longer is working, no longer benefiting you is ending. Um, you are taking action and moving. And when you do go, wherever action you're taking, wherever you're going, there's going to be a new beginning, a new beginning that's going to bring you prosperity. Something wonderful is beginning as soon as you take this action, as soon as you take this trip, as soon as you take this. This is about taking action, starting something, igniting something, going somewhere, traveling, making a move, starting something. Whatever it is, like I said, it's bringing you plenty, abundance, and a new beginning. So that is magnificent. Let's see what else the universe wants you to know. Especially I want to know about the, um, the abundance that the Empress will give us. Let's see. For all Cancerians, what is happening? Oh, wow. So it's giving you love, happiness. Oh, wow. Many areas of your life will be prospering. This is the greatest gift of all. But also they're giving you an amazing partnership. Now, partnerships can be love or they can be romance or otherwise. There is going to be a great partnership building between you and someone. You are destined to be with this person. This person, you could start a business together and you will do amazing well. You will start a love life with this person and um, this will lead to marriage, to future, to family, to everything you've always wanted to happy ever after. But the Ace of Cups is a new beginning that brings you abundance in many areas of your life. This is the greatest, greatest gift from the universe and it will be touching your life of partnerships. Many of you will be starting partnerships and doing businesses that will prosper and bring you a lot of money and many of you will be um will be uh, also meeting the person that you are going to spend the rest of your life with and have a future with so someone from the past is leaving without a doubt is coming to an end your past you're putting behind you and this happens right at a time where you are uh, destined to go somewhere you have been planning for something wanting something for such a long time finally you will have that if it was your goal to to meet someone and to get married and have children that's what's going to happen if it was your goal to have your own business and start something of your own you are going to get that slow and steady you've been working hard for something if you've been wanting to build your own home it's all happening whatever you wished for you are finally receiving it let's have a look what else what is this last challenge let's see I want to know this last challenge before you. Yes, it's to do with family. Uh, one more challenge and you're leaving. You are going to be empowered big time. We have the emperor. This is going to give you power and control over your life, over your destiny. Until now, you didn't. You didn't have the power. I feel like many of you are going to start their own family and a lot of you are starting your own business. The Three of Pentacles is about family and it's about business. It's about uniting with someone and, and doing well, working in team and building profits and a lot of money the beginning of prosperity and abundance money coming to you big time uh, the beginning of a project that's going to be doing wonders and it is also starting with someone beautiful and wonderful and starting your own life and starting your own family and doing exceptionally well with that it's something destined and it's something that is meant for you um, long term let's have a look at um, what else I wanted to know about the enlightenment what's the reason for this um, going through uh, enlightenment and uh, I know the changes are bringing this forth for all Cancerians, but I'd like to know a little, bit, a little bit further about this. I see. Okay, so it is to do with loss. There was one correct choice that you had to make, but perhaps you were not able to make, but you will in the future. I feel like you're going th uh, close to um, to the meditation and praying and going through the, uh, the universe in touch with the universe and your guiding angels is because once you take this trip, you're taking a trip, you're relocating, you're going somewhere, you're traveling. This action that you're taking, which is to do with this, remember I said to you after an action, after action you take, after relocating or moving or taking action, um, expanding, going somewhere, there will be a loss, emotional loss. It's right after this. Once you go somewhere, um, something is beginning, something is starting, and you are losing. Now, I feel like what you are losing uh, could be someone from the past because you have the Six of Cups here uh, in regard to loss, uh, losing someone uh, and um, finally being free of your past. But at the same time, you will go through the grieving of loss of this person. And this is, happens right after this movement, right after taking action or after traveling that's when this loss is taking place the transformations that are taking place are happening no matter how much um, there might be sadness in the process of change but i feel like they're all happening 
to take you to the next level. And the next level is spectacular because you have two amazing beginnings that are taking place. Um, one more stronger than the other, one more powerful and one more beneficial than the other. The greatest gift of all that governs and gives you in four areas of your life, they will prosper and, and expand and become abundant. Four areas of your life, not one. And this is the beginning of prosperity, the beginning of having it all, the beginning of a project that will bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of money so um, there is all that happening now what I'm going to do not to mention the partnership or the relationship that is destined forever and ever and one that's going to be ex doing exceptionally well and giving you abundantly so let's have a look at anything else the universe wants to tell you that wasn't talked about here you are finally going to have wow the king and the queen of cups right after an ending that's no longer benefiting you once this takes place this tower moment happens and and something really comes to an end and then you have then you will have oops sorry then you will have see i'll just i'll say this because this is really important okay i'll put these two cards down once this happens Something is going to make you take action. And once you take action, you are going to put an end to something that is no, not giving you justice. The only justice for you is to end something. Something that you're holding on to that's, that's not beneficial for you anymore. There's nothing more that this situation can do for you. And I feel like this is to do with your past. And once you do that, you will finally reach to the level of happiness. I feel like you'll reach to the level of getting exactly what you want, having exactly what you want, um, and having um, reached to the goal of your dreams. And I feel like you are going to be supported big time by someone very similar to yourself, someone that might have water energy within them, either Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And they might be an earth energy, very strong earth energy, like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but they will have water energy, and that is going to be wonderful because you will blend well together, and that is going to give you that ultimate happy ever after kind of a connection. Now, this could happen also with in regard to business i feel like you might have a partner that might have earth energy virgo taurus capricorn and have a bit of water in them which is um like yourself cancer scorpio pisces and i feel like that is going to be uh the, the ending like um, the icing on the cake and you'll finally get exactly what you want and the way you want it i think that's about it i might do just two more cards if there's anything else left that the universe wants you to know Okay, yes, there is an ending. There is a chapter in your life that's ending. And I feel you will be supported by someone that's got fire energy uh, within them. This fire energy is either Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Somebody who will be standing by you, supporting you all the way at a time where there's ending. Now, with this person, this fire energy, there is also an air energy. Air energy being Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. They will stand by you at a time of this ending. This ending can be somebody passing, somebody ill, or a chapter of your life that really ends and comes to an end. There is support big time. You're not going to be alone. Um, there is going to be support um, for you all the way. That might, that might be what you are grieving the loss of. Now let's have a look at, is there anything else the universe wants you to know that you need to be um, empowered with? For September for all Cancerians, we've got the first card, the second card, the truth for all Cancerians for September. Okay, so we have two cards and let's see what they're all about. And they are talking about, okay... So we have the frog spirit, which is clearing out the clutter, letting go of everything that's no longer working, cleaning out things that don't um, benefit you anymore. That's also connected to the tower, where there's no more benefits, where there's a, a lot of uh, things that are toxic in your life, you have to remove them to prepare you to transcend from where you are and to put an end to one chapter of your life that was quite difficult. So that's that one. And then the squirrel spirit is all, all about believing in yourself, believing in yourself and having faith. You will complete a cycle and you will do well. Transformations are going to take place to give you a sense of freedom and a sense of completion. And ultimately, you will have to believe in yourself in order to progress and to do well. Faith in yourself, confidence is very important. And I feel like the universe is going to support you in that way. Let's have a look for the truth for all cancerians uh, for september okay so we've got one is there anything else anyone any other yes there is i had a feeling there might be two so that's that uh, let's have a look september what does the universe wants you to know it says a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment, your love fills me with light. I love you. Somebody will fall in love with you. Somebody does already love you. But um, I feel like 
For some of you, you might have not met this person. It could be your soulmate that might be saying something like this. For some of you, you might be rekindling an old romance. But I do feel like you're leaving the past behind you. Some of you are rekindling, um, reconciling with the past. Somebody is there loving you and you need to know that. Now, this person could be someone that might actually declare this love for you. They, there is. We have got the lovers. Somebody will actually declare and tell you that you are the love of their life and they really want to have a future with you. Um, that is there. That is possible because we've got the Ace of Cups which is all about the greatest love of all and um, that is a great possibility so there might be a message letting you know how they feel about you a message of love is coming to you so that's very very important somebody really really um, does love you the other one it says balance balance is very important love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So the reality of the matter is that you need to come to terms with there will be challenges in relationships. There will be ups and downs. You can't always agree so that to keep the peace and then be unhappy within. You've not, you've got to be happy within, not unhappy. So always remember uh, to, to go through the challenges and say no to certain things and try to negotiate to meet halfway. That's the only way to succeed in any kind of relationship. Let's have a look at timing. When will the abundance that's destined here uh, come? Well, it says when you're traveling, when you're going. I want to know about the Empress and what the Empress is going to do for all Cancerians. Timing. It's at a time where you're learning, going through soul searching, at a time where you're completing a, a saga in your life, a chapter, where you're going through soul searching and learning and expanding and spiritually growing. It is at that time where the abundance is given to you. Um, follow your dreams. You'll be able to have your dream. Remember I said to you that one of your dreams is going to be accomplished. Something you've always wanted is going to be given to you. Well, that's happening very, very soon. And I've got the numbers here, 12. Um, I've got 12 and I've got 13. Between 12 to 13 weeks from the time you see this reading, um, you are going, and at a time where you're going through teaching and learning, um, you and, and at a time where you are putting your dream into, into fruition. And that's taking place between 12 to 13 weeks from the time um, of this reading. I'd say by December, 12 seems to be coming twice in your reading. Let's see about this love and this partnership this incredible power that's happening in your life, this abundance from someone from your soulmate that you will have a future with, uh, a marriage with, a business with. When is that taking place for all Cancerians? The truth, timing, at a time where you're feeling individual, at a time where environmentally it's suitable, I'd say by November, 11 weeks into 8 to, ele eight to 11 weeks from now, I feel like it's at a time where you are doing your own thing, you're being independent and you are being yourself, at a time where you are creating success and doing well, and I feel like it's going to be between 8 to 11 weeks from the timing of um, now. So I want to know finally, uh, I want to know about the abundance that's coming in your life. These cards, these are the cards of abundance. When are these beginnings taking place for all Cancerians? The truth. So it says patience, a little bit of patience. When you are going through healing, when you are going through healing from relationships, between 2 to 12 weeks um, from September onwards, it could be including September 2 to 12 weeks at a time where you're going through healing from love or healing from uh, situations of love. Just a little bit of patience, I would say after two months, uh, 2 to 12 weeks or up to two months. So um, that's the timing for these beginnings. So when you're healing, when you're going through healing, but you are going to be moving and you are going to be taking action and there is so much going on. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I do wish you love and light, abundance and a lot of blessings. Namaste.